All right, last day, I think. Let's go to work. Saturday, December 31st. We gotta, ha we gotta have a cool party, okay? We can't have a hassy party. That's not, that's not cool. Dot, dot, dot. Well, let's see. Gills in the back getting everything ready. I'll grab some food I've ordered. They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. You all right? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute. Relax, everything will be all right. I can assure you that. Drink something, maybe that'll cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you, I don't know, a hug. Does that work? A hug? The big one, her board for, award for after everything's said and done. Gotta go, you can do it. Right, everything's fine. Been avoiding this for all these years, now it's time to face it head on. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Uh, hello? Gabby. And all the confidence is gone. Come in. Excuse me? Welcome to Valha. Hey. You talk first. No, I... Well... Hmm. Hmm. Some days ago I got a letter. Even odder than the fact of getting a letter as I got it was from your sister. A what? Invited me to that town. Silent Hill. <clears throat> Excuse me. My sister sent you a letter? That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know, I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Angry face. Yeah, let's do it. Let's read it. All right, then. Sorry. Just... just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? This is just like your sister. Spent days worried about the letter, not wanting to open in fear of it would make contain. Yeah, I... I know that feels this. <laughs> you know what's stupid? I do that with press emails and stuff. I get... I send somebody an email, and I think, like, I get an email back, and, like, I was expecting their, them to email back. And I know there's, like, a 99% chance that email is what I asked them for, because, you know, in this business, people either give you what they want, or they just don't reply. Like, there's generally no reason to reply back negatively. Uh, I just, I just hide from emails, I don't know, I'm dumb. A lot of sleep and appetite thinking about it. Yep. After all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter. A fucking letter of all things. She just says sorry? Sorry for what? For our fight? For not talking all these years? Ah, now I'm fucking pissed. Stupid dead girl, god damn. Dead people are so inconsiderate. They think other people don't got shit to do. I got shit to do? You're just rotting on the ground. <laughs> are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I just <laughs> remember all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like the time when I gave you, she gave you chocolates labeled 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's Day, and you were pissed about the lack of a 3. That time you left an unopened beer, capital beer. Oh, it bothers me so much. Beer isn't a brand, TM. You don't capitalize beer. How dare you. How dare you, madame. An open opened beer bottle on the table. She sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did it, and you're confused all day long. She always bragged she knew you like the back of your hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that, I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. Express to me. This is some realistic nine year old dialogue here. She did, huh? Told me she died from localized nana machine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always made the news, her case was more focused. They usually amputate or replace the part, call it a day. But organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejections. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently she suffered that way since she was 18. She kept it a secret from everyone. It's a secret to everyone. I'm dying. Have some rupees. 
Hell, if I know, I was too angry to learn why she did it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Dot, dot, dot. Wait, how'd she live no so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left, left a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a burst mark? The rejection was what ended up killing her? The data machine rejection was ended up killing her. They couldn't find it what made her so vulnerable. Doctor said she might have missed a shot, but the shots make her other defenses go weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure. Maybe it was the regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's some things you can't say to me. You can't say it's a secret from everyone, and you can't say nanomachines. It's <laughs> you can't do that to me. Uh, so nobody knows. <laughs> it's a secret to everyone. <sighs> Maybe if she told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Well, that's a pretty decent way to die overall. Think about what ifs won't bring her back. Eh? I spent so much time hanging myself with what ifs after you told me she died. What if I'd waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at that very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I had given a chance to given a chance to the research institute thing back then? The amount that just increased threefold after I lashed at you the other day. But today I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive, you're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like an, I can apologize to you right now. Jill! Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's taking a dirt nap. She's just resting after having that heart condition after all these years. She's resting in the fucking ground. She didn't have to face it alone, though, if she'd only... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn... What was with these fancy sentences all of a sudden? Let's mourn her together. If we are to honor her, we'll do it together. I became a Viking for a minute there. Together. Lenore was a fun-loving person. Best we can do is try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. I need to ask, though. Did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? N no she didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She didn't complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes... That actually goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then. Part of me wanted to put the blame on someone or something. You didn't deserve that. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know? This is a very you know, a socially aware nine-year-old. We both had things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. Should have been mature and not shouted at you either, so... Let's just call water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So, how'd you find me exactly? Eh? Um... Have you heard of methods board called Dangeru? I have, yeah. The truth is that I visit from time to time. Ah. Oh! You fucking meme lord. And the other day, I read a thread that discussed the bar. The description of the bartender sounded just like you. <laughs> Are you mad? No, not bad. More like dumbfounded. Hey, Jill. Can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Were you not happy with my sister? Well, back then, I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. Not too far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was there with me. If she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit that right then and there. After graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf in no time. How do you do that? What? She kept saying it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? How could she do that? Like, I, I, I don't think anyone could accept a, would have accepted my job offer for me. I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. She was forcing a life of success and a decent job on me. I was so upset. And then my became our future. And she started talking about marriage. Oh, too fast. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it that seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. 
The thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her, but I don't think I was ready for that sort of commitment. Especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she can be really fushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to her, to being with her. That was probably because she was too pushy. So pushy, not too pushy. Even if she had the best of intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. That rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What would have stopped her if, once we'd gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to go craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it without thinking it was she would do it thinking it was the best for me. But what about my freedom to say on the matter? So that's when you stop loving Lenore? No, no, no. Never stopped loving her, which is why it hurt so much. But you have to understand, I didn't just want to wake up 40 years old working a job I hate. Just out of routine, getting used to it. I wanted to break from everything and for a while in order to put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself. Think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I sometimes felt the same, even though I'm not in college. What do you think about? You're nine, dude. You are nine. You should be, like, playing Playstations in your basement. You don't, you don't worry about things. Shut up. So that's what led to you two fighting, huh? <laughs> you know, the word fight makes it sound like we were exchanging blows or something. It's all silly when I think about it. Tragically silly. Dangerously silly. Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive and not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps I didn't overreact to her arguments. This is the most awkward party ever. This is a party we're at, by the way, in case you forgot. Let, let's lighten up the mood here. <laughs> Perhaps if I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It would have been avoided if we just talked. <laughs> It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Eh? I told her she mentioned you on more than one occasion. Now sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her to the end. But instead I kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy get the best of her. It was her offer, not mine. I should have been stopped projecting myself on so much into her. Something like that. That's a, that's a very specific... Thing to remember something like that. <laughs> we were quite the hotheads, you, me, my sis. You're supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly. You are she's nine! She was less than nine at the time. Oh my god. But why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us too? No, it's just that Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? I didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded. My sister wouldn't have scolded you. But I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But I faced her back then. But I faced her like that then, and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. In a perspective, no matter what reason I came up with, it'll never make sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Are we never going to learn about Anna? Seriously? We're never going to learn about that? Ugh. Everything sounds very stupid when I think back, you know? Not that it makes things easier. I won't ever get back, get to speak to her ever again. It feels bad because it's stupid. I swear, you and my sister met for one another. You both moved on and all that, but neither of you had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. And like I said, parading myself for these past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss you so much, though. We were together all the time, I was talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I would always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person. Eh? Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulkings for so long. She told you that all the time. Same way people would told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces, both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So, let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A drink? Don't worry, trust me. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I can't. Uh, sugar thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm having a moral crisis here. Wait, no. Let's just... There you go. Grab this for a sec. Okay. Ahem. Lenore, I know you're watching from beyond right now. Let's give a drink to your litter sister. <laughs> drink of absinthe. It's obvious to me right now we both meant to make amends at some point. We never got around to it. I can't apologize to you anymore, but I can at the very least make your rest easier. Where are these soliloquies coming from, Jill? So you know I'll look for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman, just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey! Want to add anything? Um... I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me. Say it to her. That's a bit... Come on, just this once. I always miss you, sis. Sis. Sis, you idiot. Why did you have to keep the secret for so long? Idiot. Idiot. I, I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You idiotic idiot. Baku this in there. Hey, Jill. Promise me you won't be like that knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And, and I promise me we won't fight. I can't do that. Eh? You and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later we'll crash, clash on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. She is nine! She is nine! I'm not an adult. Let's face it. You've been more mature than I have. She is nine. Hey, did you mean what you said? That you'll look after me? I'll always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenore, but I don't dare my leave, leave my little sister alone. Jill. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so, I bought this drink. Yeah, give it to me. Might be too strong for kids. <laughs> uh, oh. Now to think back to it, didn't your sister give you a beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. It was April Fool's. I should have known better when she offered me an apple soda. I put bubblegum on the soles of all her shoes in retaliation. She walked funny. My jaw hurt for the rest of the day. How would your jaw hurt from beer? Whatever. I guess I never tried drinking as a child, but... Yeah, but... Did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me, she gave me a beer and turned out to be apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Well... <laughs> I did hide all the dildos in that house! Only to find out how she knew how to use a cucumber. As a follow-up, she used that same cucumber to ah. She said, so do you like eating me for- Ugh. Hey, the thing turned off. Anna's gonna show up. I'll tell you when you're older. Or never at all. Uh huh? Hey, Gabby. Do your parents know, know you're here? They think about Claire's, actually. Who? She's my best friend at school. Miss Claire knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. Well, how would she cover me for me otherwise? True. Did you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that, that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Claire doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, can't be helped. I live nearby and the streets aren't exactly safe for a night. So want to stay with me tonight? Are you sure? I don't exactly live in a mansion. But I'd say it's comfy, though. We've got the traditional American koketsu. At least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep, he opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand. We were supposed to be having a party, but we're just kind of doing this. I think he got into a partnership with a friend in the motor district. It's -a me, Luigi! Or Mario! Whatever. The guy saw an opportunity of realizing the motor district has almost no bakeries. I remember your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were less Mark one for daddy. What? Oh, that was Jill reading that. I think he had this bet with an acquaintance since my sis was 12 years old or so. Dad said sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labeled sweet victory. Huh. That's weird. It's very weird. Your mom and Lenore never made up, did they? Sigh. I guess that wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. 
Mom was always obsessed with high society and her circle of friends. The lesbian daughter was a no-no. See, see, we, this, again, we have, you know, we're accepting robots, but I mean, lesbian daughter, that's a little, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still on my sister's good side for that one, though. Mom didn't want to reject her because she herself was homophobic. She did because her friends were. To Mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How'd she react to her death? You know, Mom and Dad broke up two years ago. They did? Never got married, so there's no proper divorce. Haven't seen her since August, I think. That's a long time to be not married. Did you fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. Must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore, thanks to you. Huh. I thought there was gonna be a party here. Alma, over here. Party. Small New Year celebration. Wanna stay for a bit? I don't want a kid to burden. Don't worry, you won't. You only get cold for the night, though. You only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. It'll give us the time to catch up even, even more. I can introduce you to some friends. You in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma, come here. Something I want to introduce you to. Oh, it's ending time because you can tell because there's a full screen effect going on. And dramatic music, of course. It's the ending theme! Do, 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 do. Oh, credits time! Alrighty then. I guess that was the good end. I'm gonna go ahead and make some other videos of the other endings. So, Christopher Oritz is the mysterious Kirin51 Kirin writer Fernando Damas. User interface Christopher Oritz. Game design, those two people. Original concept, also those two people. Uh, can I. Is this, does this go faster? It sure does not. Well, I'll, it's probably a short list, so I'll just let it go. Uh, Shoutouts to Cassandra. Paw, which is actually how I got the uh, my review copy of this. Yesbrid Games. Business Cat. <laughs> I guess that's a hip thing to call PR people these days. Special thanks, all these things. Us right here. Well, I think this is officially my longest Let's Play series ever, with like 33 videos as of this one. And there'll probably be at least a few more for the other endings. Thank you for all your support, this is for you. Aww. Made in Game Winger Studio by Yo-Yo Games. Prologue version made in Renpai. Huh. They didn't stick with Renpai, but uh, Renpai is a visual novel, like it's a scripting language. Uh, based on Python, I'm pretty sure that's what the Pi is. Um, Tem Dating Sim was made in that. Uh, lots of, you know, simple free visual novels are made in that. Published by Yesbrid Games. Had its ups and downs, but overall, I definitely enjoyed it. I don't, I don't think I would have done a 30-part series if I didn't. Did you have fun? Did you like it? Did you? Did you? Yep, I also got to meet a cat boomer. Why'd your boss hug you, though? Oh, this is dialogue. That was Jill, and this is Gabby Face. We never get to hear about the cat boomer. Well, I guess it's like a treatment somehow. That doesn't make any sense though. She's that kind of person. Now let's see, you're dozing off back there. We don't even get to go to any of our parties. We went to two parties and we did absolutely zero partying. You're right, good night, Jill. <laughs> what perfect timing. My One of my videos is done rendering. <clears throat> it's a secret to everyone. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. Aww.
Unfortunately, thanks to the achievement names, I know what two of the endings are. At least the general concept. I don't know. I haven't spoiled... I haven't watched gameplay from anyone but myself. I guess I'll try to track down the demo and the prologue, the, which are apparently two different things. Probably should have played them first, but I didn't think about it. But I, I guess I'll do those as, as an addendum as well. May as well be super thorough. Gracias, Peluche. What is that? Is this... Is this the end, or... Yeah, games don't tend to do the, uh... As a child, I've been scarred by games that, um, I was never sure if the ending credits was, like, the end end. Like, if I could just turn off the console. Because some things would do that. It would just freeze, you know... God damn it, Dorothy. I was talking about nice things, and you just... Anyway, uh, like, as a kid, like, a lot of games, like, on SNES and stuff, um, the game would just end on the credits as, like, a kill screen, and you couldn't go back to the main menu, and so, and some of them, but some of them would continue and, like, would give you a new game plus or something extra or whatever, and so I would leave the credits up there for, like, ten minutes on that last screen wondering, is it, is it gonna, is it done? Is it, do I turn it off now? I was like, ugh. Anyway, let's read this little Garbage Piles dialogue here. So yeah, this guy had a fantasy about women castrating him. I tried for an hour to convince him it's a bad idea, and I finally got to him. We finally moved to the bedroom, and it turns out the guy had a weird implant where his testicles should be. It's basically a removable ball sack. Boy, that, that seems like important information to tell someone. I suppose the guy really liked that fantasy and made sure he could live it out properly. Why, why, why do we have to hear from you? We had the Gabby ending. I once I got I once saw the guy at the hospital in the emergency room after having castrated to fulfill a fantasy. God damn it! I wonder if it's the same guy. I have enough problems with just one, you know. Just one what? Uh, just listening to one of your anecdotes. You told me about the Neo Tijuana thing. Now this. Don't you have a more subdued story? Come on, Joe. You're an or er, come on, Joe. You're an adult. You can take that much. Shut up. Well. Last time I spoke with my mom, I asked her the story of my daughter. Turns out her name was Anna. And now you pretend that's a surprise? Quiet, you. Wait, what? So her sister-in-law is dead, Anna? Like, what? She fought against Nana Machine rejection for most of her life. She even lost a girlfriend in the hospital that had to the same sickness. Apparently... Sometime after she got out of treatment, a truck hit her and killed her. But even then, she was amazing. She was? Eh. Yeah, she kept up her studies while still in the hospital. She was a self-taught honor student. Not only that, she also ranked among the top five candidates in at least three college admissions exams. Her rotato was in the top percentage of rotatas. She also played the piano and guitar. Well, I guess refined, being confined to her room does that, you guess? I mean, fully able-bodied people can barely do half of that, but she practically accomplished the, all of that by herself. She also beat Nana Machine, rejection, a disease only 2% of humans suffer and even less to survive. It took a trucking truck to take her down. It was great. And think I'm sort of like your sister. Heh, <laughs> silly Becky. Honey, did you say something? Hmm? I did not. Weird. I can swear I heard someone call me silly Becky. Ugh, come again? It's not uncommon for me to hear stuff from far away and think I heard it nearby, but you're the only one that knows my real name, so it was weird. Oh well. So I was saying, the balls <laughs> guy. Huh. I gotta admit, I was not expecting the Dorothy Inquisition. I guess is where he parts ways, huh? Fuck boy, no! How could this happen? Sadly, I'm bound to the city. I can only falsify my identity f effectively here really want to thank you, Chief, for the second chance you gave me. If you ever cross paths again, I... Gil, we're leaving for like a week and a half or something. Don't be so dramatic. But I... And you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths because I live there. Tassy Zero. The time you spend setting up a useless firewall could be spent asking me things about the place. Like where the switches and valves are. I already know. They're in that control panel you made. But I like talking about that control panel. I'm proud of it. 
Speaking of obsessive likes, Jill, stop calling me calling Armitage. She'll take care of your four ball just fine. What? Oh, the cat. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about me. I've never been away from four this long. I don't know what I'll do. You'll do just fine. You did pretty well for at least 25 years before finding him. Yeah, but we're leaving. Oh yeah, before I forget. So Jill is like 30? Well, late 20s at the earliest, I guess. Oh yeah, before I forget. I left you a box of condoms in the first drawer of your desk, Jill. Gil. You what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever, I want him to be ready. Oh yeah, just one condition. If you're gonna fuck with, like rabbits, stay away from my room. I have too many pics of my Imuto there, and I don't want her eyes soiled. It's one of the worst sentences I've read from somebody that isn't Dorothy. Imu who? Little sister. Then just say little sister! Exactly! Yeah, whatever. First up, Panama. You can now serve heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen or bar will let you start over from day one while keeping your items and money. Thank you for playing. Okay. Actually, it's... Let's see if that here an important place, I guess. Uh, well... Should I show you the New Game Plus before I leave? Sure. Oh, it's Gabby. I wonder if it adds, if it's like Undertale where it adds a character every time you do certain things. Like if each ending adds a person on here. That's what I'm wondering now. Um, let's do a quick peek at New Game Plus and then I'll do a an ending per video, I guess. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo! Hmm? Why didn't I show up on the TV? Okay, see all, we already, I think we already saw this. Oh wait, no, no we didn't. Don't worry, you'll be punished for choices made in past playthroughs. This is a fresh beginning. Well, I'm almost fresh at least. Jo will have all the money she had at the end of the last time. She'll keep everything she bought her unlocked too. It means you can potentially be a millionaire, but remain the poorest bartender. That's, that's a tragedy. Well, it's suspension of disbelief ex exists for a reason, right? Oh, but debts will still show up, so be careful. Did you get all the endings yet? Here's a couple of tips. Leaving Joe homeless or not is the first step towards at least one of them. There's two of them that rely on being a top bartender to the buff sweetheart and the cat-eared beauty. Oh, this is more complicated than I thought then. I, I probably screwed up buff sweetheart. Oh, yeah, I think I must have messed up the one with Sai because I did give, I gave um, Stella something wrong at least once. I gave um, Sai something wrong once too. Of those two, one needs you to be a patient with the pompous buffoon. The other one needs you to serve the busty droid what he wants. Busty droid. Oh, the T. The other busty girl, the blonde one. She get hers as long as you're not an asshole. <laughs> and Becky should be easy as long as you remember what she says. Six different endings. Can you get them all? Sorry for all the chatter. Let's pretend this never happened. Game start. Huh. I figured it would just be fail at each different bill, but uh, maybe not. There's gotta be at least one bad ending. Tequila seasoned ramen. What the hell are you choosing on for? Is that a letter? Oh, I forgot the chapters thing. Well, I just wanna see. I hear there's stuff in the shop. I'm not sure if we can access the shop. Our ship's the shining fingered. Hey, I kept my money. Oh, I can't see the shop. Do I do I keep my nano camo? No, I, I don't. Lame. Well, I probably get that back later in the story when I actually unlock that stuff. Well, stay tuned for the other endings, I guess. We will see those in due time.